What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers. Today we are talking smart thermometers. Don't mind us, we're just shooting a video over here. Today we're talking smart thermometers. I'm gonna break down which one I think is the best meat probe on the market today. We have the iGrill versus the Weber Connect versus the meter. Only one way to find out. Let's go. All right, first things first, if you're in the Denver, Colorado area, come to our showroom today. Check out all these awesome accessories for yourself. Okay, also subscribe to our channel. Helps us out a ton when you guys do that. Question is, I had a big question, is there's a lot of smart thermometers or, or smart meat probes out there uh, that, can, that you can control from your app. The question is, which one's the right one for you? What's a good accessory to get? So personally, Weber makes a bunch. I thought it'd be kind of cool to break down the difference between the iGrill 2 and the Weber Connect and see what the heck is, is the difference between these two and which one you can buy. Which brought us to Meter, which is one of my go-tos. I'm gonna break these down. So let's do a little unboxing video. All right, so out of the three, the iGrill is gonna be the most affordable. And I'm pretty sure because it's the most affordable, it does the least for us. So let's see what we get in the box here. So this thing is super self-explanatory and super simple. Um, we basically have our wired meat probes. They're gonna plug in right down here. It's gonna run on a battery. And then when you download the Weber app, we can set the temperature for what we're cooking. Um, there's recipes on here if you wanted to take a look at them. And then you can click pick a grill. This is for the smart grill feature, but it works for this app as well. It's super simple, super straightforward. Basically what it is is a digital meat probe that's gonna read on your app. So it's a pretty simple device. Essentially we have like our hub. We have the slots for four meat probes, so you can buy extras. It does come with two. It runs on battery, so it is wireless, and it is Bluetooth controls. Now you download the Weber iGrill app and you can see it's basically gonna monitor the, monitor the internal temperatures uh, of what you're cooking. And then so it can ding you or alert you, you can set it at, to a temperature um, based off of you know, what you're cooking. You know, if you set it to 120, it's gonna beep you or alert you when it's at 120 and you know to pull it. So it's pretty straightforward. It's essentially a meat probe that's gonna connect to your smartphone using the iGrill app. Now here's what's cool about it. Here's what's cool about this. This thing is magnetic. So let's say you have the, you know, Summit Kamado, you want a digital display, you can just set it right here, boom. Now you got yourself a little digi digital display. So it's a pretty cool accessory and it can kind of look like or seem like it's part of the grill. So this is gonna be the simplest out of the three. Let's go on to the next one. All right, let's go to the Weber Connect. So the Weber Connect is a little bit more money, but you do get a better, in my opinion, a better system. So first of all, you get a fancier box. And then our control box is a little bit different. Our four meat probes are gonna connect here on the top. Okay, so essentially your hardware, appearances wise, is gonna look the same. We're gonna get two meat probes and a hub. But here's what's different about this guy and what makes it better, in my opinion. So hardware is about the same. We get two probes and then sort of a hub, but we also get a, a little USB plug. Now what's cool about this is this doesn't need batteries has a rechargeable battery. So you're gonna charge this hub with this USB port, which is pretty cool. But these meat probes are different. Here's what it is. The other one just comes with two and it's gonna read the internal temperature of your meat. This one, one is gonna read the temperature of your meat. So let's say that one's gonna read the temperature of what you're doing. But see how this one has like the, a little different bracket here. So this guy, is gonna read your ambient ten temperature of this grill. So you would, you would set this bracket and clip this little probe near where you're cooking so it can read the, in, the internal temp of the barbecue. So that gives you a whole nother level of detail. So now you know how hot your grill is and you know how hot whatever the food is you're cooking. Now what else is cool is instead of Bluetooth, we go to Wi-Fi controls and because it's Weber Connect, our app is different too. So we go to, to the Weber Connect app. When we upgrade to the Weber Connect app, here, 
we get all of our recipes we can load into this and it's gonna alert us when we hit temp or after whatever we're cooking has been in. And this app is actually really intuitive. There's a ton of good content in here that I actually really like. So we have more reliable Wi-Fi, we have rechargeable batteries, and we can read the internal temp of the grill itself, not just our food. So to me, this is way better than the iGrill. And it's not investment wise, it's not a whole lot more money. So out of these two, the Weber Connect is a no brainer. That's what I would go with. This is why this thing's so cool. You can see here on the Weber Connect app, my smart grill is not connected. So they literally tell you, I talk about in the videos about, I talk about in my videos about how Weber makes a smart grill because it's integrated into the device. This is what's in the Weber smart grill. So it's a couple hundred bucks, but when you buy a smart grill, it's basically this integrated into it. It's the same thing. It's an accessory on the side shelf. So this is what they say. Weber has their own smart grill series. Weber Connect is a step-by-step -step grilling assistant that will turn any grill into a smart grill. <laughs> so you don't need to buy the Weber smart grill per se. You can just buy this thing and then any of the Weber grills are gonna function the same as the smart grill. The advantage is that at least now with the new Weber smart grill, you get lighting, which is cool. Um, but this is essentially the same technology that they're using in their smart grill, which is cool because it's reliable. It runs on batteries. We have Wi-Fi for a smarter connection, better connection, more stable than Bluetooth. And we can read the ambient temperature of the grill. So it's super useful. All right, let's go to last but not least, the meter. So out of these three, this one's my favorite. Now, the reason it's my favorite is simply for just the simple reason that it's wireless. So the meter probe, here it is out of the box. Uh, this is the meter plus, which is a single block. It comes as a four pack or a one pack. The four pack is a better value, of course, because you're getting four instead of one for 300 bucks instead of 100. But essentially this block is your charging, charging pack. And this little block is gonna charge this meat probe. So you can see this meat probe has a battery in it and it is completely wireless. Now, to me, the fact that it's wireless is a c absolute game changer. Why do I say that? Well, because it's wireless, that has a lot of benefits. One, these little, see these little guys? You put a lot of heat on those over time and then you're clamping barbecues on them and pinching them. These always fail. They probably last a year or so and they're not expensive. It's just a pain in the neck if you're in the middle of a cook and they decide to stop working. It's not that it costs a lot, it's just annoying. So this being totally wireless, you don't have to mess with that. You don't have to worry about, you know, creating space in, the, in your seal, on your barbecue, whatever the case may be. But another huge game changer of this being wireless is you can use it indoors. Like no one's running a wire through their indoor oven, right? But let's say you're baking something or, or you got a roast in the oven or whatever you're doing, you can use these in your indoor ovens as well. So the use wise come way more functional. You get way more use out of something like this. And then of course, this is gonna read the, amp or the internal temperature of your food. But what's really cool is the butt end reads the ambient temperature of the grill. So in our app, our meter app, which I don't think is good as, as good as like the, the Weber Connect, but that's okay because we, we're just, ba we're, we're, we like this because of the hardware. We like the Weber because of the software. So you can see the LED light is gonna tell us when it's on. Let's see here, here you go. So we have our ambient temperature sensor, internal temperature, and then our safety notch. And we wanna keep that ambient end nice and clean. So this works on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The app's just okay. It's really simple, straightforward. It gives the ambient temperature, internal temp, and you can set an alarm. You can also set a cook if you're cooking beef or pork and tell it when to alert you when you want it done. And what else is cool is it tell you uh, how long they think the cook has. So let's say you set it to 120 degrees and you have a roast in there. It's gonna tell you estimated time before it's finished, four hours or whatever. So that's, that's the meat probes. By far, by far, to me, the meter is the best meat probe on the market today. If you're gonna buy a, an accessory like this and you're gonna drop the coin on it, I would definitely look at this, especially 
if you want the indoor functionality. This is really the only one that can do indoor cooking. And I guess it could, but you have to run a cord through your oven. No one wants to do that. So check out the meter. Uh, definitely toss the eye grill, definitely not do that. Um, I would do the, the Weber Connect or the meter. Those are the two choices. If you guys wanna buy these, we'll include links below. Uh, stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys next time.